Hey everybody, it's been Nogwak to another episode of FTL Faster Than Light, and as you can see, I have actually unlocked the second layout for the Landius ship, which is in this, if you don't know. Um, so how you get it is by completing two achievements, and I so happen to get it. Yes, I'm still playing on easy mode, because, you know, the hard mode is impossible. This game is incredibly hard, even on easy mode. Anyway, what's great about this ship is it starts with a crew teleporter to take down the enemy ship, and this is the best part about the ship. It starts with an advanced flight gun, which seems like a normal flight gun, but it only requires one power. And that's just amazing in my opinion, a flight gun that takes only one power. So we're gonna check it out. Alright, we start with quite a lot of power if you think about it, but no sensors, which kind of sucks. But you can't have them all, right? Sensors are really cheap from the store, by the way. They're only like 40 scrap, I think. So if we get lucky and get a sensor system, we should be okay. On board, your crew is able to access and download the long range scanners, archived information, and maps. You know what? I'm not gonna send them there yet. I'm gonna keep them in their quarters. Um, I'm gonna open these because there's no point to not have it open, right? Wow, okay, that is a big man. Very close to a sun. Uh, gonna avoid that, actually. And I don't like the sun. I don't mind the, um, asteroid fields. Yeah, that should be good. We might be able to get the quest location too. I'm not sure. Damn, nothing of interest. Usually asteroid fields are something good. But not, not this time, apparently. What do you say? Oh, that luck, though. <laughs> Senses straight away. Alright, now I can actually see my ship, so if it catches on fire, I'll know. That's really all the sensors are good for. I mean, they're good for, um... They're good for, uh, beam as well, to teleport. Man, it sucks not starting with any resources. No trading can be done. Although trading is kind of a rare occurrence anyway. Anyway, first fight, let's go. Mind control. Oh. Convince him to make a better deal. Once convinced to help, he casually states that his uncle was actually a lie and they planned to attack your ship. By the time he returns to his senses, you already prepared your ship to fight. Oh, that's just great. What? That shoots faster than I can... That's not fair. Wait, no. Don't repair that, because we're in a nebula. It doesn't even matter. I love this flat cannon. It's basically a normal flat cannon, but, you know, it doesn't require any um, power, basically. Can you stop that, please? I like this run. There we go. Uh-oh, my control is on fire. You know what, I'm just gonna deoxygenate everything. Except the pilot's quarters. There we go. Oh, look at that oxygen drop. There, all fires will be put out. There, they just fix everything and we should be good. I think fires should be put out right now. We've got to get the clone bay back up. Because without the clone bay, we could die. And that's not good. And they're gone. Okay, good, good, good. Not for them, obviously. Okay, we got some missiles, so... Definitely not enough for a missile weapon run. Maybe enough to trade, though. Maybe if we collect some other time. I like the, um, Lanius's, uh, building noise. It's unique, to say the least. I think we have enough time to do the quest, but not anything further than the quest. So we get that and we go back. Damn, we didn't even have enough for that train. Okay. It's gonna take quite a lot of fuel because we're gonna have to do return trips as well. But I think it might be worth it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I'm gonna try and attack this guy. 
just because we get more loot that way. There we go. Oh, and that deoxygenates it too. Okay, I think that's that. Done. That's them. Just done. You know what, if I take out their oxygen, then there's nothing they can do. Here, I'll take them back. And we need to fix that. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. Fixing noise, I'll give it that. What do we want to upgrade? I don't like how it only starts with like the lowest possible engine level. So I might kick that up a bit. Quest should give us sufficient scrap to get fully up. Nope, just just does that, okay then. We could sell emergency respirators, but uh no. Might come useful in an event. Next star sector design. I don't like nebulas. Especially now that we've got cameras, we don't. Well, a rebel, rebel controlled sector is probably not the best. Definitely taking out drone system. Oh, great. Recharge is really fast though. It's like 8 seconds then. That's incredibly good for a flag gun. It's not very accurate, but it's kind of powerful. Think about it. At least in terms of uh, damage potential, it could do quite a good amount. Although it does not seem to be doing well enough. Okay then, do that. Damn. Good, but not good enough. Not nearly good enough. Oh boy, this is just what I need. I'm sorry, that goes through shields. Oh no, it's the asteroid field again. Gotta do this again. Just cause games being annoying. The oxygen is so fast. There we go. Makes shields fast, please. Oh great. Need that to keep the energy alive. This freaking auto scout is so lucky. If it weren't for the asteroid field, it'd literally do no damage to me whatsoever. Okay, hopefully this does good. Skip the stores because we don't have nearly enough scrap to buy anything good. Oh, that's just lovely. I hate this freaking asteroid field. Please hit weapons, please hit weapons. Random asteroid. Random asteroid, please. Good enough. Okay, I think we've won. We've taken stupid amounts of damage though. Oh 
Oh, bunnies can go aboard Ultra Scouts, can't they? Because they don't need oxygen. I hope they can anyway. I have no idea. I might pit stop at one of the stores just for, um... Nope, too late. It's gonna save for repairs, but... It's too late for that. Okay then, that's just great. Didn't even get anything proper out of it. Good enough. Hmm. Hmm, save me from that, that could have been the end of the game. Oh great. I'm gonna send him there to just quickly dispatch of the system. but who cares at this point? We can't afford anyone off our ship either. No, oh, guess we just get lucky then. That works too. Wow, that was really lucky. Huh. Damn, nothing is for the station. But 30 scraps still will open. Sure, why not? Let's go to another rebel controlled sector. I wonder how this will probably very well. Oh cool, a store. It's not full heal, but it's good enough. Oh crap, we didn't get fuel. I mean, thanks for the heal, but like... Yes, that's worth the trade. Thank you. I'm going to that If I'm out of fuel, I want to be in a nebula, so the rubber fleet don't catch up to me. Also, that's another thing I've learned. Um, Rebel fleet will uh, destroy you if you turn on your tracking beacon. But if you don't have it turned on, you mostly get peaceful encounters. I had no idea if there was fire in there, but I didn't risk it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put it at the top. Yeah, you can do that. I'm not annoyed whatsoever. So scout that one. Oh great, an ion storm, just what I wanted. Oh that that is actually pretty good. I do want like that. I don't want that. Died. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Close the doors. You would turn there, over there, right? Wait for this room to oxygenate. Should be done now. And everyone heads back. There we go. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Well, at least they don't catch up as fast. Usually slugs try to scare me. I don't know why I didn't die after that encounter. You know me, I never back down from a fight. It's, it's a really bad war tactic. Cause it usually ends up with me, you know, death, but could be worse. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I think that's the Leto missile. The, the Leto missile, I think. And then there's, um, I don't think enemy ships, can, uh, uh, AI ships at least, can get the Artemis missile. I like this ship, though. It's such a mind control, which is amazingly valuable. Mind control when you level it up, it's just stupid to do. There you go. Just getting that so we heal more. Because if we want to use that jumper, we're going to want to heal a lot more. Or not. It's discounted fuel. Never say good. Um, never say no to a good deal. Oh, that is just brilliant. Oh, that is just brilliant. Bring fight to you, huh? This was a bad idea. This was a this was a bad idea. Okay, we're getting so stupid. And now that they're drones, we can come back and kill it. Although one of them needs to repair the weapon subsystem. Oh no. This is not good. Yup. Very not good. Oh boy. Where did we go so wrong? I need stronger doors, that's for sure. No, no, I have to repair twice as much. What was I thinking? I 
There we go. Everyone back. We need more crewmates. We could have explored this more, but I was stupid. Our controlled zones are ironically, despite being a red zone, they have the, the least combat encounters. NG zones have the most, despite being green zones. Kinda weird, but hey. Who am I to judge? Just send it into a system that's doing that works good. <coughs> well, that was very compacted. We're gonna win this one. System. Extra scrap required for initial upgrades. It's no longer weak though. Right, okay, good, good, good. Starts off with a weak system, that's not good. Weekly engines don't start off with weak system when they're powered up one. I wish repairs were instant at the end of battle out of combat, because there's no reason they should take time, it's just kind of annoying. If there is an FTL too, I really want to see that. Although, there probably won't ever be an FTL too, sadly. It's an amazing game, so it sucks that there won't be a sequel. There's Into the Breach, but Into the Breach is nothing compared to FTL. FTL is just such a masterpiece. Yeah, that's the problem with a perfect game. You, uh, you got the perfect game, so nothing else is like it. Except maybe, like, like there are some good games. I'm not saying this is the best game, but there are certainly games significantly better, in some aspects at least. Imagine having a ship start out with four advanced flat cannons. You'd be unstoppable, because even though it only costs one, it's significantly better than every other weapon. Because the normal flat charges ten and requires two power, and the flat two cannons require twenty-one seconds to charge. So they suck even more. Reactor. 
There we go. Now we don't have enough for the storm. Yay! Or do we? Do I want to sell that now? Not in repairs of anything. Oh boy, this is gonna go. No. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, no, no, feel down. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my distress beacon because. Enough time, not all. Uh, ABS allies. You arrived at the search to see if Federation outposts are not coming from multiple rebel ships. However, as you approach, they get their anti ship battery online and disable two of the smaller ships. You sweep it to assist the another way. Anti ship battery is on the planet. On the planet, starting new enemies. Yay! To make this fight easier. No, oh, Hank, I did not expect them to have such, you know, firepower. Let's warm up. There we go. Uh -oh. That's not good. They missed. The anti battery anti ship battery missed. I wonder if this game still gets updates. Oh boy, we're about to die. Oh boy, we're about to die. Here my Holy crap, one health. Scary. Oh, welcome to the crew. I hope you like dying. Because we're not living for much longer. Oh, this sucks. Oh man, I've got so much to fix. I don't know how we're gonna get it in time for this video, I mean. So, so thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.